So here we go, we're going to um, start off with aubergines today. So I'm gonna pop some cotton compost in there. It's been outside for a little while. But it's a bit damp, uh, but we put some of that in there. To start with, it's already moist, which is good. We're gonna put some all-purpose uh, plant food, a little bit, just a few little bits in there, just to make sure that there's enough uh, nutrients for the seeds. They should have enough just to germinate on their own. So we'll put that in there. We'll add some more compost on top of that because we don't want the uh, food on the surface. There we go. So we're now ready to plant some aubergine seeds. Now I don't want to overcrowd them in here and I also want to make the best use of the space so I think I might be putting in I might put five or six in here that's what I think I'll do and uh, so let's find the seeds so I've got lots of different seeds in here in a box so let's start off here with some I think there's some aubergines from Dobbies here. There we go. Yes, there are aubergines from Dobbies. Dobbies is a nice, um, is a nice little firm. Um, obviously, all their seeds uh, uh, tested, etc. And this is um, a Bonica F1, um, which basically it says so from uh, February to April, thin thinly in a greenhouse or indoors. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing it in, uh, in April um, and I'm hoping that and it's right at the very beginning of April as well so it's kind of the end of March um, I probably should have started these a little earlier but no time like the present so there's no point making excuses oh I should have planted them earlier what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant them now oh there's a few seeds it's um, a bit windy here deal with those in a minute. There we go. So these are the aubergine seeds. Um, I'm wearing gloves so that I don't get all my fingernails covered in muck and stuff. And uh, I'm doing some cooking later so I thought best thing to do is to, uh, is to wear some gloves. And these were really fairly cheap. Um, I've got a hundred gloves for uh, about 10 pounds I think so they're useful to have they are useful to have so there there we go there these are the seeds if you can see these they're um, they're quite small uh, and we're gonna put six of these in here so one two three four five Four, uh, might actually have room for eight in actual fact. Five, six. Yeah, I hadn't realised quite how small the seeds were, and also um, it means that the plants, when they germinate, are likely to be small um, and they won't run into each other too much. And that's the whole point for when you're pricking out. And you only want the best, the ones that have grown the best is what you want, right? So there we go, that's the aubergines planted. I'm going to do a label for them as well so I know what's in it. And also I'm going to add a, just a little touch more, a little touch more, just want to cover them. So as you saw, I just covered the seeds. They don't want to be on the surface but they don't want to be too deep either okay there you go so here we go with the second one um, I'm going to I've already started filling this up I'm going to put a little bit of food in what we need just to, just a little touch don't want to overdo it 
and now I'm going to be putting in the Dobby's sweet peppers um, these again are an F1 and they're a patio type so because I've got small garden I thought that's probably best I want to do that so these are the and oh look you can see through so you can see how many there are there are eight pepper seeds in there um, so that's what I'm going to be planting in here let me just top that up so that we cover up the food I will cover the food up there we go okay that's about the right height and basically what I'm going to be doing with each of these little trays is I'll be put, popping these on the top and then popping those onto um, a heated uh, a heated uh, propagator um, which um, I bought yeah, a little while ago and it has proved quite um, quite good to be honest yeah it's nice to be outside in the Sun though I have to say it really is uh, it's very pleasant um, so I think we'll be putting eight seeds in here again these are peppers they look very similar I could actually get this open they actually look very similar to the uh, aubergine seeds so um, yeah you don't want to mix them up really do you? no you don't um, and maybe this isn't open yeah there we go that's better um, so the only thing with the gloves of course is it makes it slightly more difficult to open things like this there we go that's it opened um, they're, they're sealed so all the seeds should be good uh, they haven't been exposed to anything else other than what was in the packing um, and as I said Dobby's is a, is, a, is a good firm for seeds I'm quite happy with them they've always uh, had good germination so it's not it's not bad I mean sometimes I've had a hundred percent so I'm putting the seeds in similar to how I did with the um, aubergines and you can see that there's slight differences in the seeds which um, may actually affect how they grow because at the end of the day it's all genetic isn't it uh, the, but these are plants these are seeds and I just find the whole seed to germination to plant just amazing just amazing because from these little seeds, tiny, tiny little things they are, tiny, they will, um, they'll grow into plants. And then they'll, they'll produce lots and lots and lots of fruit and lots of little seeds like that. Just amazing, isn't it? Right, so we now have aubergines and we have peppers. So yeah, these are the aubergines here, uh, which you can't quite see. And these are, here we go. Aubergines are here, peppers are here, I just need to label them up because best one in the world when you think oh I know what they are, you won't know and um, and that's what will happen is you will just forget. Anyway it's um, it's me here, look, yes, um, in case you wondered. Right so we're now going to look at maybe the tomatoes or maybe I'll have to stop and come back to these might do that so as I'm gonna pop away for um, a little while I don't want to forget what these are um, so I've actually put the uh, seed packets for each in front as you can see there we are Look. so I know which one is which um, and I'll be coming back and doing some more. Um, I just have to pop out, which is annoying. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll be doing some more. We'll be doing tomatoes. I think we'll put in some, uh, probably cucumbers. I might want to start these early because I have a greenhouse now. I can pot them on and they can grow in the greenhouse. And hopefully that will mean they won't get too leggy. 
and when I say leggy effectively they're they're searching for the sun um, and that's what happens if you grow them indoors so um, by putting them in the greenhouse they get normal kind of light from all round and and consequently they should they should thicken up rather than um, just grow long stems trying to search for the light which is what happens otherwise so it's great to start them off indoors you could probably start them in a in a sheltered greenhouse as well um, where it didn't get very cold um, but yeah, germination I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be using for these the electric um, heated propagator it only it only takes about 13 watts or something like that and raises the temperature by about 10 degrees C um, which is which is nice for the for the seeds to germinate and you only have to have it on for a week or so you can even put it on a timer so that um, I have a timer plug so that effectively it's only on overnight when there's no sun that's kind of the plan although you can leave it on all the time and even in the uh, cost of living crisis it's not that expensive um, 13 watts when you consider the price of a uh, one kilowatt hour is uh, about 35p and you're using 13 watts so you've got to get to a thousand watts before it's cost you 35p anyway onwards and upwards and um, I'll see you um, shortly